piece, quick little thing fast. You ever, you know, played a little, I say like a little joke when I say a joke, whatever, but you ever like a, you know, scare a little kid or like whether it's your child, little nephew, niece, uh, you know, but just a little kid in general where, you know, in order to scare them, like say for instance, you don't want them to eat no cookies. Or, uh, you know, if you eat them cookies, the uh, Freddy and Jason gonna come out that closet and get you. And they're like, oh no, you know what I'm saying? You scare them out of it. Or, uh, or if you, you open that door, if you open that closet, Freddy gonna get you, you know, and they like, don't, they scared to even walk by that closet. Well, realize that as a, uh, you know, grown, mature, grown human beings, grown beings on a human experience, how, you know, uh, some may be falling for the same joke with religion. You know, here it is where the Catholic Church does the same thing, or should I say that their teachings have, uh, you know, brought, uh, how I say, people into this fearful mind frame where all a person gotta do is be like, oh, well, you know, that, that book deal with the devil, uh, or stamp, put the devil face on it, like, oh, no, I ain't dealing with that book, it's dealing with the devil, you know? So the same way that a uh, little joke is played on little kids to like scare them from, you know, do doing something that they really don't have to be scared of, you know, because it's, you know, made up. That's the same thing that the teachings from the Catholic Church has, you know, programmed into growing ups. Where it's like, here it is where I can have literature that say the, the, the truth of the truth on it. But if it, uh, if it has something to do with the word devil, they're like, oh no, I don't deal with the devil, baby. Only Jesus Christ. Uh, oh no, I don't deal with that. Only Jesus, you know, only in Jesus' name. And, you know, like I don't, I don't deal with that devil stuff. Well, here it is. You're keeping yourself away from knowledge. You know, like all oh, science. Because again, it, 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 it's uh just being overly scientific, of course. You know, but like, what well, somebody would be like, oh no, I don't deal with that science type of stuff. Well, I mean. You know, eating certain foods, being healthy, that, that's a science to that, you know what I'm saying? Like all that all that magic stuff, oh no, I don't deal with that. But when you walk in and talk in magic, like your thoughts manifest into the physical, regardless if you know it or not. So, just realize, you know, to all the grown-ups out there, matter of fact, anybody know some grown-ups who are open-minded enough to at least look at this video, you, you know, and dealing with that energy, you might want to show them this, but, cause I mean, it's simple analogies like that. It's like, here it is, you're a grown ass person <laughs> suffering from somebody playing a little kid game on <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? And then you want to walk around telling other people like how to, like, you know, how to live their life and how you should do things like this, or don't get married, or do get married, or you better ask me if you want to get married. You want to be at the forefront of decision making and stuff like that but then you know being fooled by little kids games you know it's like uh again it gets to a certain level where uh, you know you gotta actually you know start learning or at least being open to learning you know and realizing that hey you know most of your religion you know, especially again being in america you know, uh, as a melanated person in America, your, most of your religion comes from, you know, your slave master handing you a book, you know, and not you dealing with your true indigenous nature of uh, spirituality, you know. So for you to take, you know, again, some lies, or, or should I say to be more accurate, uh, you know, misinformation, disinformation, you know, so information that has truth in it, but been, you know, scrambled up to confuse you. You know, but you you would rather, you know, take that knowledge as, oh, that's the end all be all. Some some knowledge that comes, that's younger than you, like your own ancient indigenous history predates <laughs> the, 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 the Bible that, that you trying to harp upon is probably about 2,000 years old at best, 3,000 at best, just to give it an extra thousand years, let's just say. Again, our ancient knowledge you know, uh, dealing with spirituality existed way before this. But again, just remember, <laughs> gotta stop, gotta stop falling for the little kid. <laughs>
little kid games. You know, people scaring us away from information. And us just listening to people, you know, without questioning things. You know, where we just listening to our parents, listening to our grandparents, brother, sister, whoever. You know, because I even tell anybody, like my little nephews or anybody that I talk to, like, man, but go research. Like, don't take everything from my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Of course, if it resonate with you, cool, you know. It resonate with you for a reason, but, you know, I'm not here to try to tell you everything I'm saying is law and you should just, you know, stop at what I'm saying and take it, you know, and just that's it. Like, nah, you know, it's deeper. <laughs> Just wanted to share that. I kind of had to laugh at that because I'm like, that's the same as, you know, the same game. And you see how things are paralleled. And that's why, like, you know, just just because you pay bills, you know, and could have kids don't make you a grown up. You got to carry yourself in a mature manner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, what's funny, like a, a grown up would like to say babies having babies. But shit, you know, uh, on the spiritual level. You know, some growing ups are still babies. <laughs> so, it, uh, of course, on a human level, again, you're not a baby because you're not young because your body suit been around for a long time. But again, if your body suit been around for a long time, but you ain't dealing with the information that been around for a long time, it's like, you know, you kind of start to not make sense in that sense. You know, especially to the youth who see that it is about questioning things and not just listening to everything they told because they see within their life that people telling them one thing, but then they experience showing them another thing, you know? So eventually all that just, oh, listen to me just cause I say listen shit, you know, that's gonna soon, you know, I mean, right now it's going out the window as we speak, but you know, but that's basically it. Walking through the South, the YMCA. to do better and again as I'm talking about this you know saying it in a joking manner but you know uh, not trying to make fun of you in a, in a derogatory way because I know I know that again we are capable and it's through this awareness because like when I think about the way my higher self deals with me my higher self you know points things out in a straight up manner you know, like, say, for instance, matter of fact, that's another in sign of immaturity. If, like, I feel like, oh, I could only listen to spiritual information if a person sugarcoats it and says it in a nice voice. If they say it straight up and, not, and, and they don't say it in a nice voice, then I'm not going to listen to it. Even if it's the truth and I can see it's the truth, I won't even listen to it because he's delivering it in a manner that I don't. Well, then, you, again, and then now you see why God will fuck over you, like, uh, rich is your high self. Why your high self fucks over you and you wonder like why I'm going through this, why I'm going through that? Because <laughs> so it's then constantly, you know, come to you to you in some way, form, or fashion, and you constantly putting it down. You know, due to uh you know a level of ignorance. But <laughs> again, just being open to the info. Peace, I think that's it. Hold on, let me see. Cover it. Yeah, that's basically it, you know. Again, there's a constant growth for all of us. As I'm saying, sitting here saying, saying these things, that's because I'm on myself the same way, you know. But, and we're not trying to, uh, you know, again, realizing that we may have been wrong about certain things, we don't, you know, uh, guilt trip ourselves or be like, oh, mad ourselves. Of course, we might have some anger arise or, you know, feel some kind of way at first, but we don't let it, you know, overpower or overtake us. You know, it is what it is. You laugh it off and move forward. You know, because if you can't laugh it off, like, like if you can't, Cause that's where people mess up that's how people die actually like it sounds simple but like when people can't like when their ego is so strong to where they feel like they gotta be right that's when people you know like when stuff happen like from neighborhood i can't speak from perspective of like the hood and stuff you know a person trying to be right like oh, i'm the baddest motherfucker you know 
it's like uh, or uh i say is this you know what i'm saying i'm gonna prove it to you and you get enough or, or like you know get to a point of a raised argument to where y'all want to you know fight with each other you know but <laughs> i'm just letting i'm just uh semi ran <laughs> That's basically it. Just, you gotta learn how to stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe. You know that your, your religious information come from somebody who wanted you to be a slave. <laughs> so, you know, like just like you tell your children, don't take candy from a stranger. <laughs> or don't take wood nickels, you know, gotta start adopting some of that you know uh some of that guidance and actually start following that guidance ourselves but peace happy now now is a vibrate of course not too far in the future not too far in the past right now peace